I don't think earnings, the numbers we're seeing now, matter one bit. And I, I'm sorry to say that. I'll tell you why. I think the inflation story is so powerful. I think what's happening this quarter and the numbers that we're going to see in January and February, those are the going to ones that are going to matter because the input costs have really spiked in the last couple of weeks. What say you? Tell me I'm wrong, please, for the sake <laughs> of our network. Yeah, no, Brian, I think that's a good point that you raise. Um, the, the current quarter we're in uh, has been much better than many investors probably anticipated with 82 percent of companies reporting on the bottom line and most importantly, 76 percent companies reporting on that sales number, be, beating on the sales number there. And that's important, too, because that shows if companies are able to raise prices and pass it on to the consumer because of those, like you said, higher costs, higher input costs, supply chain bottlenecks, et cetera, that is really, um, really driving that inflationary story that you, you mentioned there. And so, so far what we're seeing is the top line is remaining strong and so actually are margins. And one thing I'm looking at, Brian, that this week in particular is the tech sector. And surprisingly, so far, while very few tech companies have reported um, to, to date, uh, the good news is, is that they are actually showing margin strength for the, for the most part, despite cost and wins. And as you know, this is a sector that is really actually being very impacted by rising labor costs. So the fact that they're able to see yep. uh, margins hold, hold steady to potentially move higher is a good sign so far. Well, it seems like technology, particularly the, the companies that we differentiated yesterday, Lindsay, that there's tech companies that actually make stuff. Apple, by the way, is one of them. They have physical products, Cisco as well. And those that just kind of do stuff, right, like take a funny dance video and put it online, they're very different because one will face supply chain issues, one really won't. And I wonder if we have to start differentiating tech a little bit more because of that. Yeah, no, it, it is a good point that you raised, Brian, um, and I think that is going to be very important. But I think it's a very mixed bag, and I've been saying this since the beginning of the quarter. No matter what industry that you're looking at, this is a quarter where it's really a stock picker's market because, because we talk about sectors very frequently, but a lot of times these are companies that are, are not created equal and each has their own uh, own issues that they're dealing with or own um, uh, own trajectories that, they, that they're working on. So I think it's something that you need to take on a case-by-case -case basis, and it's hard to generalize in this quarter because everyone's being impacted by the supply chain issues differently. Yeah, and, and we've only half-joked on this show, do your Christmas shopping early, and I'm going to say something. I am not kidding. I am almost done with Christmas shopping. I'm not joking. I, I, it's completely accurate. It doesn't mean I haven't bought anything. It's because I'm worried that what I want for my family is not going to be there as well. Do you think the retailers are going to have a good time or a bad time? Demand is going to soar. That's good. But if the stuff isn't there to sell, that's bad. Or if people can't afford the price increases, how do we view it? Yeah, I mean, I think the early purchasing of things is going to benefit retailers. Um, it, it's going to help them with the inventory and supply chain issues to some extent. Um, but, you know, your point's taken, and that's why you're seeing prices rise across various, uh, various gift-giving categories. And so I think it's something that's going to benefit the retailers early on is pulling demand forward. Uh, and then as we get later into the holiday season, I think there's going to be probably a little bit of a lag. So the comparisons are going to be a little bit more difficult. Usually you see sales jumping yeah. as you get closer to, to, to the Christmas time frame. Um, and, and so it's just going to be a shift of timing. Uh, and and in, in, in the end, it might actually benefit the retailers and the economy overall as it's spread out over a longer period of time. Yeah, it's going to be really tough for the parents of the naughty kids, Lindsay, because coal prices have soared. I don't know if you've seen that as well. I mean, it's going to be tough <laughs> yes, all around. I did. It's true. It's true. <laughs>